This video is recorded to help my students understand top-down design. The project problem here is similar to one of the projects the student needed to do in the class. The project we saw here is a person has a fever if the body temperature is 100.4 Fahrenheit or high. Write a program to check if a person with given body temperature in Celsius has a fever or not. The program has the following requirement, which is similar to the requirement in your course project 4. First, no calculation in main function. Second, no global variable is allowed. Third, uh, this program should allow user to check as many temperatures as the user wishes. Fourth, the program must contain the following three functions. So the first function is double Celsius to Fahrenheit, which convert a given Celsius degree to Fahrenheit degree. Second function, uh, Bull has fever, which check if a given body temperature uh, in Fahrenheit is a uh, fever or not. Third function, print out conclusion. Uh, the input is a Celsius degree. Then based on this input, this function should print out uh, the conclusion that a body temperature of this given degree has a fever or not. Now, uh, those requirements put here to ensure that the student know how to do the top-down design for a program. Okay, let us start. When you write a program, you first need to design it. Uh, for this small project, you probably just need to design its structure. For the, to save the time, let me copy and paste these uh, requirements, fun uh, required functions, declaration. So I will put it here. Those are the functions I need to imply. Then I did have this function, okay, void, okay, let's see, uh, since those function declaration you already have, so you can actually write your main function first. Your main function should always have very simple logic. People read your main function can understand immediately what your program will do. So here, in the main function, you need to ask a user input a temperature in Celsius, then print out a conclusion if this body temperature is a fever or not, and you should allow user repeat to do so if the user choose to do so. So in this case, you can say first have a char choice, which if user choose yes, then it will continue to do. Then you have a double uh, Celsius, for example, that's the Celsius temperature, right? right? This is, uh, you can put a commands, users choose choice if we want to continue a lot. So then you can say do well user's choice equal yes or user's choice equal little yes. That is ask a user to redo. So you can write down the project uh, sort of code. For example, first get a temperature call 
Sprint. Kann Klo schon fallen schon. To print out the conclusion, then ask if user wants to do another temperature and get user's input. Now, you see the main function logic should be very simple. So let us finish this. Get a temperature. So for, for example, you should see out into a body temperature in Celsius. Then you see in the Celsius. Now then you will call the function print conclusion Celsius you just entered then this print conclusion function will do all this job that needs to be done then you ask if user want to do another right do you want to check another temperature you give a hint yes or no okay Then you see his choice, get the input. Now your main function already done. You see this beauty of the top-down design can make the main function very simple. The logic very clear. You immediately see what's going on in this program. So the idea is you first get the body temperature input. Then call the function print conclusion to do all these jobs. Then you ask if user want to check another temperature, get a user's input. If the user's input is yes, then the program repeat. So the main function is very clear. Now, let's say how to implement those three functions. Of course, you can always uh, implement a simple one first, or in my practice here, let's implement print conclusion function first, which is void print conclusion. Now, in this function, how could he print out a conclusion based on the Celsius temperature you gave to him? Of course, his first step need to convert this Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit temperature. Then, based on the rule you give in the project description, that if this Fahrenheit temperature is 100.4 degree or higher, then it has a fever. So you can call has a fever function to check if it has a fever. Based on that feedback, you print out the conclusion. So the steps are first, convert the Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now, to do so, you can just call the function uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, right? Then, uh, determine if this Fahrenheit temperature is a fever or not, then print out the conclusion based on the result from above. You can see this. Okay, now, of course, you can make your code simple if you really understand what's going on here. So for example, here I just declared the local variable called double Fahrenheit, which is Fahrenheit temperature, by call the function Celsius to Fahrenheit. 
then you give me the Celsius input. Now, what this do? You declare local variable Fahrenheit, which will equal the return value of the function called Celsius to Fahrenheit. Even you did not implement this function yet, but you know, uh, based on this function's post condition, you know if this function is implemented correctly, then we should return you the correct result. So, let's see. Now we uh, determine if this Fahrenheit temperature is a favor or not. So you can call if is favor. Based on this Fahrenheit function, then you will print out C out. Uh, we don't have E's favor, we call it has favor. Now, then C out the temperature. Celsius Celsius, so much as Celsius is a favor. Else see out the temperature of this Celsius is not a fifth. Okay, that's how you print out the conclusion. You first convert the Celsius to Fahrenheit. Then based on this Fahrenheit temperature by core has favor function determine it is a favor or not. If it is a favor, print out the temperature of this Celsius degree is a favor. Otherwise, print out the temperature of this Celsius degree is not a favor. So then you can implement the has favor function. This function based on a double Fahrenheit degree to determine if it's a favor or not. Now let's just simply return Fahrenheit greater or equal to 100.4 because that is stated in your project. Now the next, the last you can print out, uh, well you can implement the function for uh, double, you convert from the Celsius to Fahrenheit double Celsius now for this function if people give you a Celsius degree you should be able to convert to Fahrenheit so we need to recall the formula how to convert from the Celsius to Fahrenheit. So Celsius to Fahrenheit, I think is, is you multiply nine, then divide by five, then plus 32. So the formula, using formula, the Fahrenheit equal nine over five, I mean, it started divided by uh, two, divided by five. 9 divided by 5 multiply the Fahrenheit of Celsius then plus 32. Okay, so in that case you just directly, in this case you just directly say return uh, 9.0 divided by 5.0 multiply Celsius then plus 32. Okay. 
Now we finish the project program. Next step, uh, next step. Oh, here I made a mistake here. We forgot to put the semicolon here. Okay. So now let's run the program. It build successfully. Then let us check a body temperature. We low uh, 37 Celsius is not a fever. So we check. So this is not a fever. Yes, uh, works okay. Then let's check. We know, I think 38.4 is a fever. Let us check. So yeah, 38.4 is a fever. Okay, so you want to check another one again? Yes, let's see. Uh, for example, 38.3, how about that? 38.3 is already a fever. Okay, let's try again. How about 38? Yeah, 38 is a fever. So according to our calculation, 38 is a fever because 38 is about 100.4 Fahrenheit or high. Okay, now you want to try another one? No, then the program should finish. Okay, if you have any questions, please email me.